Hey family, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick word for you, for all of our sisters out there who are going through. Um, on yesterday, I was in the midst of my uh, prayer time with the Lord and he placed one of my old friends um, in my spirit to call her. And I reached out to her just to check on her to see how she was doing. And um, in the midst of our conversation, um, she began to tell me how life was hard right now and how she felt useless, how she felt unloved, unwanted, um, how she felt that she did not want to be here any longer, that she was contemplating suicide. And that broke me. It broke my heart to hear that because whenever I would speak to her or whenever I would see her, she was always so strong. She, she was always uh, helping somebody. If it was taking somebody to the market, if it was just visiting somebody, if it was just helping somebody out with their children, if it was just bringing groceries to somebody, she was always doing something for someone else. She was always so, um, what, what can I say? She was happy and uh, smiling all the time, such a joy to be around, um, very encouraging. Um, you, you would not leave uh, the same way when you were in her presence because even if she didn't know your situation, that the Lord will put something in her spirit and she would just say something to encourage you. And when I heard that she was, you know, feeling the way she was feeling and not feeling loved and just, you know, feeling unwanted and to hear her say, I'm ready to leave here. I don't want to be here anymore. And that she was ready uh, to commit suicide. And I couldn't, I had to first pause a minute because you know, that coming from someone who's been a rock, someone who's always been so strong, so loving, so caring, and she is such a servant. And anything that you would ever ask her, even if she didn't, she had it but didn't have it, um, she would still give it. And even when her car would be on low, she would just still just try to get you to wear uh, you needed to go. And I remember years ago, she was there for me and my family when we were going through. And she has been a blessing and she's helped us. Anytime I called her, she was there, um, just ready, uh, willing to just to assist. And when she said, I planned out my death, I was ready to go. And it just broke my heart because how many of us out there who are smiling through our pain? How many of us out there who lay at night in our bed and we cry and we ask God why and our family don't understand, our neighbors don't understand, our spouses don't understand the brokenness that we feel or that need to be loved or to feel loved. And a lot of us are out there just suffering, just dealing with it alone and crying and just broken and in pain. And I reached out and, and I just let her know. I said, I love you. And she said, I just so needed that. You have no idea how much I needed to hear those words. And sometimes we're surrounded by people and still we are feeling alone. We, we have a house full of people um, and we still feel alone because it's just that desire or that need to feel loved or want to be loved. And I wish I was there to give her a big hug to let her know how she has blessed me and blessed my family. And that's, and I was so thankful to God that he put on my heart to reach out to her because she is an amazing person. And I told her, I, said, I couldn't imagine this world without you. And you will be a great loss to the kingdom because women need to hear your testimony. Women need to hear the love that you have for other people, those you know and even don't know. She um, was and is 
an amazing person. And I just thank God just for being able to be able to share um, that word with her. And I just prayed over her and her family, her children. And I just want to talk to the women out there who was hidden behind your brokenness, that you smile every day, you get up, you go to work, you're at work and you're the life of the party and you're, you're just doing anything that you can do to keep that smile on your face or to hide your brokenness. But I want to speak to you because God cares about your hurt. He cares about your pain. He cares about your sadness. The scriptures tell us that he even take our tears and he bottles them. And that he loves you so much that he wants you to hear what I had to say this morning to let you know he is there and that he loves you. And I'm going to pray for all my sisters out there, those who are hidden um, behind their pain and their brokenness, those who just don't want anybody. It's okay. Let somebody know how you're feeling. Reach out to somebody. If it's counseling, whatever it is, talk to somebody. Let them know that you are not doing okay, that you're not okay. And it's okay not being okay. You don't have to be smiling all the time. You don't have to try to push past those pains and, and that brokenness. You, you you need to deal with it. You need to sit and talk to somebody. Sisters, I love you and I want the best for you. I want you to be able to flourish at work and not just going through the motions. Just going through those motions is of, okay, I'm here. I showed up at work. I, I'm going to do my job. We need you to be okay. We need you not to uh, have those suicide thoughts. We need you not to, to be broken and to be hurting and feel like that you're alone. You're not alone. You are not alone. Sometimes we just need to go ahead and verbalize that to somebody and let somebody know I'm hurt. I'm sad. I'm broken. I feel unwanted. God knows and he's heard your cry. And I'm just going to pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, these are your daughters who cry out to you every night, broken, unsure, uncertain, lonely, desperate for help, God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus over every sister under the sound of my voice, your daughter. They need you, Lord. They need your hand upon their lives, God. They need you, Father, to wrap your arms around them, to let them know that you love them and that you are there. God, I pray over every one of my sisters. I know that they're hurting, God. I know that they need you, Father. Lord, I ask that you will encamp your angels round about them. I ask, Father, that you will send someone Father, someone that will minister to them, someone that will comfort them, someone that will encourage them, Lord. Father, I pray your hand upon their lives. And we rebuke the enemy for those suicidal thoughts, those lies that he is telling my sisters that they cannot make it, that they are not loved, that they are not wanted, and that they are useless. Father, you said that they are the apple of your eye and that you love them, God, and that you are there with them, that you will never leave them nor forsake them. You tell us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us, that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And we pray over their lives, God, strengthen them, Father, restore to them what was lost, Lord God. Give them insight. Direct them, Father, in the name of Jesus. Just comfort them through the night. Let them know that you are there. Love on your daughters, God. Keep them, protect them, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just give you praise. We give you honor and we give you glory, God. And we love you, Father. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. I love you.